Are you tired of wasting time navigating through endless menus and windows on your Mac? Say goodbye to inefficiency and hello to lightning fast productivity. In this video, we are diving into over 40 essential finder shortcuts that will revolutionize the way you work. Whether you are a power user or just looking to streamline your workflow, these tips will save your time and make your Mac experience smoother than ever. Let's unlock the full potential of your finder, stick around and transform the way you work on your Mac. For your convenience, all the commands will be displayed at the bottom center of the screen so you can take the notes. Let's get started. Our first command is if you have multiple windows open on your computer then simply press command and tab and now you can switch between windows by pressing the tab button and open any window. For example, you want to go to setting, then release on setting, it will open setting. Here you have multiple tabs open. If you are in current tab, you want to close, simply press command W and it will close the current tab on your finder. If you want to take a screenshot or record a video, press shift command 5 and it will open this interface. And for now, I'm going to take a screenshot, then hit OK and here is our screenshot if you want to delete simply select the file and press command backspace and it will delete the file if you want to undo the delete simply press command z and the file will be back on your mac if you want to empty your trash with the help of shortcut then simply press command shift backspace and hit return it will empty your bin here you want to create a new folder simply press command shift n and here you rename the folder, hit return, you're good to go. If you have so many hidden files, you want to see them, simply press command shift and period. It will show all the hidden files and if you want to go back to the menu, command shift period again will be normal. For the dictation, you can set a key here. In my case, if I press command two times, then it will open the dictation. From any window, I want to go to the launchpad and apps. I can press command and dash. It will bring me to this one and you can customize this command as well. Go to setting keyboard shortcuts and here you can customize your launchpad and all these shortcuts that are customizable. If you want to hide and unhide this dock, then the command is option command D. It will hide the dock then option command D it will unhide the dock. On my keyboard there is no 14 and 15 button but you can press them to increase and decrease the brightness because I'm using Mac M2 that has a touch screen. To copy and paste it is alright to command C and command V but if you want to cut and paste a folder for example this folder or this folder simply select a folder press command C to copy now go to any folder and now press option command V and it will cut and paste and the folder is no longer available here for the spotlight it's very simple command and space bar it will open the spotlight search and then press again it will disappear from anywhere desktop any open window if you want to directly go to the search bar of finder simply press command option and space bar it will open the search bar on your finder and you can escape to get out of this place if you want to zoom in and out simply press option command plus it will zoom in and then press option command minus and hold on that it will bring you back to the normal screen. Here I have multiple folders. I can change the preview style of folders and files in the finder. Press command 1, command 2 for the list view, then command 3 for the column view and command 1 for the tiles view again. If you want to enter to full screen any window just press function F it will enter full screen. Now you can Press function F again or the escape key on your keyboard and it will be back to normal. If you want to go to the recent files from anywhere on your finder, simply press shift command F, it will go to the recents. Shift command D, it will go to the desktop. Option command L, it will go to the downloads. Let's say I have this smaller window and I want it to fit into the screen. Simply go to the corner and uh, press and hold option. Now double click on this one, it will fit to the screen. You can double click this window to minimize and there is a setting. Go to setting, go to desktop and dock. Here you choose double click window tiler bar, fit, zoom and minimize and do nothing. This fill is for macOS Sequoia version. This is the new update. 
you have multiple windows on your finder like so you want to close this currently open window simply press command w it will close the current open window here you have photos and you want to open them same like windows press space bar and it will open in a preview mode you can drag and select multiple pictures then open with option space select multiple pictures then press space bar and it will open like so now you can use arrow keys to navigate if you want to get information about the storage and file type of any file or folder simply select the folder or file and press command i and it will open the information for that particular folder but if you want to stay in folders and subfolders but want to get the information while clicking on others it shows the information then you can do another thing you can show the inspector which updates dynamically based on the selected item for that you need to select any item press command option i now you click on any file it will give the information about that file by staying on the same window if you want to duplicate a folder simply select the folder press command d it will duplicate this is also an example of copy paste if you want to open utility folder simply press command shift u it will open the utility apps if you want to go back to the previous folder then press this command i don't know what it is called in english this one and if you want to go forward press this one back forward from anywhere on the window if you want to open the applications command shift a it will open the applications folder or directory here are different folders and the subfolder you see the path there this is the main folder parent folder then subfolder and then another subfolder now you want to open the parent folder of the current folder then press command plus up arrow it will open the current folder of that particular subfolder now go back this is the main parent folder down arrow will do the same things if you have any selected folder for example this is you want to open and hit return but it will not open Rather, it will start renaming the file then you need to press command and down arrow it will open that selected folder you want to open this one command down arrow if you want to open quick look of any file or folder then command option y it will open the full screen mode of quick look furthermore if you want to see more files and folders in this directory you need to select all of them first then press command shift y and now use arrow keys and it will open the folder in the same directory or the files here you see the path of these folders if you want to hide this path or unhide then the short command is option command p it will hide the path bar option command p it will show the path bar by staying anywhere you want to open the new finder window then option command spacebar or command option spacebar then it will open this new finder window no matter you are in the browser i believe this video was valuable for your workflow on your mac os and if you get some value then hit that like and subscribe button i know even these commands are not easy to remember so you need to practice every day by using keyboard so that you can can uh, deal with those kind of things easily after maybe 10 or 20 days. Good luck. See you next time. Bye.